Hey there, bug watchers. Welcome to BuggyBot Plays Blood Bowl 2. Um, today we're doing something a little bit different. It looks like the undead have just been released into open beta. So I've created an account. I'm going to just this video, take a look at the undead team, see what their strengths are, their weaknesses are, what kind of builds we could do, what kind of things we could play with, all kinds of just fun stuff and see what we're up to. So undead. In the old world, the dead do not rest easy. Vampires lurk in haunted castles. Necromancers seek to escape death by searching for forbidden knowledge. The Lich Lords rule over legions of corpses. And the Blood Bowl field players who died long ago return to the scenes of their former glory and play Blood Bowl once again. Okay, so strengths. They're a great bashing team. Ghouls run fast and regeneration makes you pretty resilient. Um, skill level one star, but we've seen how lo how these stars typically tend to play out. If I remember right, chaos is two stars, and they really suck early on. Um, let's see, they've got no passing game, which kind of sucks. Girls have ghouls have no regeneration and must be protected. That really sucks. I imagine ghouls get beat the crap out of quite a lot. Um. Few strength skill evolution for a bashing team. That's interesting. So let's see what we got with here. Um, take. Alrighty. I'm just going to take a look at all this. You know what? For now, I'm just going to put uh, all sorts of just gibberish. And we're going to take that right there just because. It looks like they've added a lot of new stuff. Oh, hey, look. The little thing goes on the back as well. You can get all kinds of new uh, stuff here, like the, the armor, the rotted football, the scythe. Ooh, a spider. Yeah, they've added all kinds of new little nifty things here. Hey, that guy. Oh, dude, that guy has to be it. The dude's, like, just too happy not to be, right? Okay. Stadium name, blah, 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 blah. I'm not really interested in keeping this guy. I want to take a look at what we can do. All right, so... We've got, looks like, two kinds of linemen. Uh, what's the differences here? Both have regen. You don't have regen. Look at that. Oh, he just hangs onto it with his teeth. And you have, you both have regen. Okay. So we've got two kinds of linemen. Uh, we can have up to 16 skeletons, up to 16 zombies. And they've got, skeletons have thick skull but AV7, and they get one more move value. Uh, zombies have one less move value, but have AV8, but no thick skull. I don't know. I mean, that could be worse. I'm not really sure. You could do a lot with that, I guess. You could really get some variation in there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty essential cog. Carries out all actions, but essential to none. They've got the AG2, so they're very bad at dodging. And let's see, we've got this we've got this guy. Combines speed and all around ability. His job is to pass through opposing lines and run with the ball to score a touchdown. They start with dodge and they're only 70,000. Um not bad, but he's agi three. And that worries me a little bit. Uh movement allowance seven, that's nice. These look like these are our blitzers, obviously. At 90,000, they're expensive even for blitzers. I would say. But they're pretty good. They start with regen, they get block, they're nice and solid. Um, AV8, so they're okay in the armor in the armor department. They've got the three agi, three strengths, they're pretty natural there. And then we've got these guys. These, these are our big dudes. And we can have two mummies on the team. This is the first time you can actually have two mummies on there. Uh, three movement, so they're really fucking slow. But they can stand up without needing uh, the roll like the Treants do. They've got AV9, which is pretty sweet. Agi1, and movement allowance, yeah, strength five. Two strength fives. That is some crazy ass shit. And they got four heads to play with. Damn, look at you. Look at you, Mr. Crazy Eyeball there. Actually, no, I think that's an eye patch. So, they're pretty standard. Uh, aside from the fact that you have two of them, they're very slow. You've got access to strength skills, and then everything else is doubles. That's pretty nice. 
Uh, that's a, that's pretty solid. How, how expensive are they? 120. Holy shit. So you're not getting two of them on the first run, probably. Now, whites. Whites have general and strength access. So we've got two guys with strength access. That's pretty cool. Um, how many heads are we talking? Only three heads. Uh, you know, Game of Thrones it. Guys, someone out there is going to make a Game of Thrones for the White Walkers there. 90,000. And then... Spine collector. Let's see. You've got agility access and general access, so you're you're pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, and you've got three hit. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh, that is derpy. Three heads. One of those is like mean. The other one is like derpy. The other one and the third is just kind of you know. Hey, hey guys, what's up? I'm just here to hang out and you know solve this case of scoliosis. If anybody gets a chance, no, no, all right. You know, I'll just go around back to handle the ball. <laughs> Okay, so he's cool. 40,000 cheap linemen. I like this. Uh, let's see, Sextus the Barber. Oh boy, and they are lumbery. Oh, he doesn't even have a jaw. Oh boy, I like these guys already. They are appropriately derpy. I dig it. Let's see, they've got general access, but nothing else. General access, but nothing else. Yeah, all right, that's cool. Titus Bones. Oh my god, they get glasses. Hell yes. Everything yes. He doesn't have a jaw, he's got the eye covered, and he's missing a chunk. All right. So let's see here. Um, looking at this team, you... We've got how much for a reroll? Seventy thousand. So one hundred forty thousand. That's a lot for a reroll. These guys are a skill, uh, an okay skill team. But with that much on there, let's see. If you're if you're paying seventy thousand, and you don't get the A pot, so you got fifty thousand more than usual. That's nice. Uh, you know, without having to start there. Um, you don't really have a, a guy with sure hands, and no agi fours, so that kind of sucks. But let's see here. Um, could we do two of these guys? You can definitely do. Let's see. You could do two mummies. You probably want the ghouls, at least a couple of them. And then we can do. Can we do two whites at the same time? And then can we fill it in? Okay, so you can definitely fill that in and get start with three rerolls. Uh, but you don't. But you only. Yeah, you, know, you can. Hmm. Looking at this, you can start with three rerolls, and get most of your positionals. Uh, you could actually sacrifice another one if you wanted to, to get a third ghoul. And that could be that could be a deal. That's not a bad idea. I mean, you, you've got three ghouls. You have a replacement. You've got uh, a few linemen to throw up there and get hit, and then you have your AV nines and eights ready in the back. Which so you can't start two mummies. Would I start two mummies? I feel like mummies are something you'd probably want to add on later. But let's see. Let's see if you can do. Let's see if you can do this. Okay, so you could do, you could certainly take the uh, the more, I guess, score-oriented approach and have a lot of guys with dodge, and then stack yourself up. Let's see, you could do that and two rerolls, but you only have four sacrificial linemen, which probably suggests that if you're going to do that, you're going to want to go zombies because they can they can take more hits as you develop your team i'm betting you could start replacing a few of those uh but if you do this you can have two re-rolls and a couple of and all your dodgers and start with a mummy that's pretty cool or you could take a couple of fouling linemen and still start two re-rolls that's pretty cool yeah, I kind of like that. If we, we just take that out, why don't we go ahead and remove a few? 
So what am I going to probably start with? Um, I'm more of a balanced approach kind of person. I like the mummies, but I feel like two of them is excessive for the start. Uh, I may change... Now, guys, mind you, this is all first impressions, so I may change my mind as I go here. But I would probably take a few... A few ghouls. I probably want the full complement of ghouls. I feel like they're incredibly valuable. Uh, I'd want the whites if I could get them. So I'd, I'd grab them. And this leaves me 420,000. Fill that up. Get three dudes, have an extra guy. And as I develop, figure out where I want these guys, if I want them in here. Uh, and start figuring out what I would like to do with the rest of this. Like, do I want a second mummy? Do I want to start buying more of these guys for, like, linemen and stomping? I feel like you've got a lot of options here. This is a very interesting team. Now, their agility access is crap. So, an Agi 4... An Agi 4 player becomes necessary pretty quick. I'm guessing you're going to turn one of these guys into a ball handler... And you're basically going to wait around for a white, or a ghoul, I'm sorry, a ghoul, to get Agi 4. One of the two is probably going to be important. Your whites are going to be your blitzers, so I imagine you want them hanging around and waiting. Uh, you don't really, you, you, since you're going to be blitzing with them, you don't really want them to be your ball handlers. You know, since your blitzers are going to be on the front line, they're going to be moving. You want these faster guys on that. Now, the Agi 2s clearly are just not your first choice. So that pretty much means that for a while there, you've got to put sure hands on a ghoul and then hope someone gets an agility up. Which is, I guess it's nice, but it seems risky. It's a lot like playing Chaos. Uh, I'm guessing these guys will shine in development. Let's see, they, they haven't got as much bashing ability as Chaos. So I think they're going to rely on the regen there, which is going to be huge. They're going to be able to take the hits, but they won't dish it the same. Uh, I think that's going to be enough to scare Chaos players. Because while these guys are going to take the hits, as you go up in, in score, or as you go up in team value, I imagine people are going to start uh, weighing down the lines with zombies and or skeletons. I haven't decided which of these is better yet. I don't really... I, I feel like zombies are better on first glance. But again, that is first gut feeling. Uh, the AV7 seems dangerous for a guy who's going to take hits a lot. But basically what ends up happening is... You get a zombie. And you just feel like, you know... Really cheap 40,000 pieces... Uh, 40,000... 40 TV cost zombies. And just start stomping the shit out of positionals with just wild abandon. I feel like that's what's going to happen, and I feel like that's going to scare Chaos players. Uh, they don't want to lose their guys. They're really picky about it. You know, you, you've got more specialized positionals, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, Chaos really doesn't. They have to start from the same place every step. Now, passing game. Passing game is just going to suck. Now, there is something to be said about a white ball handler. If you gave a white an Agi up, he got lucky, gets an Agi up, you have access to strength, which means you could get strong arm. Strong arm and doubles for a uh, passing ability, and you've got a pretty solid thrower. But that's relying on a lot of shit for a passing game. I feel like they're, they're really discouraging that. They're really discouraging that passing game. Uh, but he's the closest you're going to get to like a long bomber or a passing specialist because n your other guys are like, you need two doubles and an agi up for one of these guys, a nice ghoul thrower. So I feel like that's their limiting factor. They're going to be good at taking hits and it's going to set them apart from most teams in the current meta. Um, but you know, regen guys, it always fails. <laughs> at, any, at any given moment, regen is the one that's gonna fail. 
Uh, and without an APOTH and you have these ghouls that are semi-expensive, they're not as bad as, say, a gutter runner, but they're just about as crucial. I feel like you're going to be a lot less encouraged to make risky plays. You know, rats are rats are still going to be the risk the risk takers. Because if you lose a ghoul, then you're pretty much just done. Uh, shit's gone wrong. He, you know, if he without an apoth, there's no way to save him. You have to be careful with them. Uh, and they're semi expensive to replace. You know, a seventy thousand later on can be kind of kind of difficult to come by every once in a while. Especially early on, I mean. Sorry, not later. Later, it's probably a little less of a problem. But early on, you're going to struggle. And then there comes the idea of bloat. With mummies, I feel like they're tempting to take. And you could certainly do two of them on a start. But I would worry about bloat happening later down the line. Like, do I really want that extra 120? Still, for fun-wise, I would probably take these guys. Because they would make an incredibly so uh, solid cage. They're going to be hard to break, they have strength access, you give them guard, you've got two big guys on a team that somebody has to deal with. So if you're not going to work with that, I would probably do two of each of these, and then extra linemen, and you'd still get your positionals, you got your blitzers, you have a couple of guys, and you can start adding ghouls later. And in the meantime, you've got three rerolls to work with. This looks like a solid start for me. Uh, I'm, I'm more of a rounded player. I like this kind of setup. This is probably what I would go with. And then I would grab... What is this? Once per match of a player on the opposing team with strength four or less that does not have regeneration or stunty was killed, you may, you may place a new zombie player in your reserve box. That's pretty fucking sweet. Let's grab all three of those. And there you are. Oh, I love these guys sitting at the ends just looking ominous. And then these guys all getting down, getting jiggly. Yeah. Whoa. Well, this is new. And they let you buy from here. All right, can I, can I switch my view? I like this, but can I switch my view? Oh, cancel. And then I can do a click on them. Okay, I like this in terms of it, it makes some things easier in a grid in a grid format. But I don't like that in order to see it, I have to... I, do, I can't see a physical picture next to them. Uh, I'm a visual person. I'm sure some people will love this. If you like, if you like your da data lined out, nice and easy to read, all set up in uniform, this is perfect. It's beautiful. I do hope they'll allow us to switch back and forth between the ideas, though. Yeah. Because the people who don't organize this shit, it's going to be a horrible mess to look at and sort through. Especially since there isn't a slot for type. I see the name, and then the the, uh, the type is so tiny, and I don't like that. But, you know, this still gives a good idea, and it gives you your value. Oh, it gives you value. That's really nice. This is really good, because this will tell you how much someone is actually taking up on your team without having to, to really go back and calculate all their skills and all that fun stuff. Uh, can we do any new clubs? No. Okay. Well, guys, um, I'll be back later to recreate this. I'll probably put out another game today, or uh, at least one game today, for the undead if I can. Uh, if not, I will definitely have one out tomorrow. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, this nice little look and, and idea factory here. If you did, feel free to leave a like. You can subscribe for more content every Monday through Friday. And I hope I see you on the pitch.